Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I show you in this video how to extend the size of the C partition and how to deal with a well-known issue that can prevent you from doing it. The first step is to open the control panel. Control and then the administrative tools and computer management. Now you have to click on disk management. What we want to do now is to extend the C partition and to do it you have to free some space from the D partition and add it to the C partition. To free some space from the D partition, you have to right click on D and shrink volume. We'll try, for example, to uh, shrink 30 gigabytes. That means 30,000 megabytes. And shrink. This operation can take a few minutes. Okay. Now we have about 30 gigabyte of free space. What we will do is to add this space to the C partition by extending it. If, if we right click the C part on the C partition, we, we see that we can't extend the volume. But if we do the same thing with the D partition, we can extend it. This is because the free space is directly after the D partition. So if we want to add this free space to the C partition, we have to drag, drag it and put it here, just after the C partition. We can do this uh, by Windows directly. So there is a tool on Windows that we can use uh, and uh, which is uh, free on the internet we will i will show you how to download it now the name of the tool is is as master is as.com you have to go to is as.com and And now you go to Partition Manager. And here we have the free version for Home and Home Office. You click on the free version, download. And here download the free version and install it and install it now you enter your email address here and download the free version of this tool i already installed this tool on my computer so i'll launch it is as Partition master. Just uh, we can notice that uh, the free version is sufficient to manage the disk partitions like resize, move, copy, merge, etc. etc. I launched the is as master partition now. 
we can see that I have the free space that I created before here just after the D partition. I have to put it here just after the C partition. So you drag and drop the D partition like this and I did it. Now we can see that the free space is directly after the C partition. The, the next step is to confirm this operation and after that your computer will reboot. I'll see you after the reboot of my computer. When your computer will reboot, you will see this screen. If you see this error message, you can try to press any key to reboot and if it doesn't reboot like my case, you force your computer by holding the power off button and after that you restart it. But don't do this while uh, the computer is uh, moving uh, the partition. I did it when the moving operation was end, but the only problem is that the computer wasn't able to reboot, so I rebooted it manually. It's really important, don't try to interrupt the operation of moving because you can lose your data if you do so. And after you restart your computer, you have to do the same thing to access disk management. So, control panel. If you don't see this view you can change it here for example if you have this view initial view you can put it to large icons and go to administrative tools computer management and then disk management you can see now that the free space is just after the C partition. Now we can right click on the C partition and click here to extend the volume. Next, uh, we will choose the maximum size possible. Next, and finish. Now our C partition uh, have, has been extended So we reached the end of this video I hope that it was helpful for you Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Goodbye